Cicero? The mobster? Yeah, I met him once. Where'd you meet him? At a charity dinner, in his honor. Charity? Oh, it's nice. He was actually quite charming. Not at all what you might expect. Yeah. On the outside, maybe. On the inside, dirty. He wants to kill a friend of mine, a thief named Charlie Dean. A friend of yours, who's a thief. That's great, John. Strange, isn't it? We hang the petty thieves and honor their bosses with charity dinners. Cynthia, what do you think? I got it for practically nothing. That's good. OK. Be brutal. I can take it. Well, it's not exactly something I would wear, let alone pay hard-earned money to buy. But it's certainly you. <laughs> it looks great. Thanks. <laughs> oh, by the way, there was a Mr. Warfield here to see you. Hello, Michelle. Tell Mr. Warfield I'm not in, and I won't be back, ever. Uh, Mr. Warfield, Mike isn't in just now. I'll just, uh, just tell her I'll be back. Benny Mick, a.k.a. The Architect. The Architect? Yeah. Seems Mr. Mick specializes in robbing places that are tough to crack. He's a real student of architecture. Been known to hit banks from underground. Uses elevator shafts. He even broke into the Art Institute once, and they're still trying to figure out how he did it. Do you have an address on him? The man has a bunch. Indiana State Prison, Joliet Correctional Center. At the moment, he resides in a loft over on Halstead. Thanks, Cheesecake. Don't say thanks. Bring food. Hey, John, did you hear the one about the thief that was caught by cannibals? He gave them their first taste of crime. I didn't do it, Sammy. I swear I didn't do it. You guys got the wrong guy. Then just tell us who did, Manny. I don't know. Let's get out of here. How'd you get through my burglar alarm system? I'm not a burglar. Are you going to introduce me, Charlie? I'm John Sable. I'm Sherry. Pleased to meet you. Benny Mick is dead. How? He got shot. They turned his apartment into a barbecue pit. One of Joey Cicero's guys. Which one? Probably Sam Vincent. He does most of Joey's rough stuff. He's got a couple of buttons watching me now down the street. They probably saw you come in, John. Nobody saw me come in. Nobody's going to see me go out, and I think you should come with me. OK, I walk out that door, and I'm history. Go to the cops. What are you, crazy? The protective custody, the witness program, they don't mean nothing to Joey Cicero. I'd have to go to another planet to be safe from these guys. Yeah, you're no safer in here. They come in here, a couple of them are going out with me. At least they know that. I got in here. Yeah, but those pinheads aren't as good as you. You gotta do something, John. Talk to Cicero for me. All right. I'll see what I can do. But you gotta promise me something. What? I don't want you to leave here until I come back. 
Give the number to my mobile phone. You call me. Anytime. Just stay here. Don't worry. I like living, John. They aren't for me. Alan? Alan? What do you want? I tried to call you on the phone. You changed your number. Yeah, along with my address, my hair, and my general philosophy about life. That sounds like the same person I used to know. Well, I'm not. You can bet on that. How'd you like the flowers? Cynthia did. I hardly looked at them. I thought you'd like them. I told you. A lot of things have changed. Did you hear about Linda and me? We filed for a divorce. Well, actually, she filed. I'm not gonna argue it. Sorry to hear it. Hey, look. We have to talk. So maybe you just ought to get that chip off your shoulder and listen to what I have to say, huh? Oh, now that sounds like the same person I used to know. I think I've been a real fool. These last few months, I've been, been trying to figure some things out, you know. Some things I thought I was sure of. One of the conclusions I've come to is, uh, that I'd like to see you again. I don't believe you, Alan. I mean, I believe what you're going through. But I don't think you want to see me again. You want me to see you. No, 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 hey, I, I listened. Have... You haven't changed at all, Alan. Everything you say still makes it seem like the whole universe revolves around Alan Warfield. And I used to think that, till I found out I was wrong. When you got engaged to Linda, I thought my life was over, and I thought that for a very long time. You didn't care enough about me except to tell me you were leaving. I made a mistake. I know that now. Alan, there's something you don't know. I know, I should have told you sooner, Alan, I know it. I was pregnant when you told me you were going to marry her. I was waiting to tell you until I was sure. I was so scared, Alan. My whole world was falling apart. And the one person I thought I could always turn to, who loved me, went off to somebody else. Sorry. I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry, because I, sh I should have told you then. But how could I? I knew if you didn't really want me, you wouldn't want a baby either. I was going to have the baby. But I had a miscarriage. Oh Chip is off my shoulder, Alan. I don't want it back. Now get out of here. All right, how does this sound? With respect to your request to serialize Nicholas Fleming's work, the Friends of B.B. Flem, we fully endorse the idea. Eden? Yeah, good. I don't think we should make the deal either. Could you just hold that thought one minute? 